I was just going through the slide, you just kind of scan on your microscope and I come across this thing or this group of things and it just kind of like jumped out at me. One of those things that you just kind of feel like, oh, this is not, not good. The pathologist then had called me in the middle of rounds um, and paged me in the middle of rounds and you know, and I was skeptical. I just kind of, oh, what, the, you know, what does Dr. Greiner want? He's calling me at nine in the morning. And he said, you know, Sashit, I saw this, the, the, the lab technician pointed this out. I think it's real. He said, it's on one cell amongst every, the millions or whatever that are on that slide. She saw one dot. I just came across this one particular grouping. And usually when you see it, in some other patients, you can see it throughout the slide. So I knew it was a bad, bad thing for this kid to have. You know, you and I, as you know, healthy people, can certainly get histoplasmosis. It's a common, um, a common infection. So we get it, but we don't get necessarily that sick. We, our bodies are good. Our immune systems are good. We can often deal with it without dedicated hardcore treatments or medicines. But when you're immunocompromised or don't have an immune system or it's been affected uh, by something that we do, like whether it's chemotherapy medicines, whether it's uh, what this child had was a stem cell transplant. So when your immune system is not 100% and you get this infection, it can get bad really quick. He had the slide for quite a while. He was looking at it, reviewing the case, I'm sure, talking to uh, his residents. Um, he did come back in and we have a little whiteboard and we have all of our patients that are up for pathology review. And he wrote my name up there with the gold star. He said, Jessica gets a gold star for the day. <laughs> I'm like, that was the best thing. Dr. Patel immediately gave me a hug. He said, you know, this is, uh, could have potentially saved my patient's life. I thought it was, it was truly remarkable. I was just taken aback by somebody with that much dedication. The comment that struck me the most was from Dr. Greiner is, uh, our lab tech Jessica found it in one cell in the slide. Oh, it made me feel amazing. It was kind of uh, a little bit emotional because, you know, you have a pediatric patient, a young child, and a doctor. The, you know, the patient's attending tells you that you could have potentially saved his life with this find. And um, it was a really, really great feeling. It's easy enough to shoot an email or a text or whatever and say, hey, thank you. Um, but I don't know, it's more important to look somebody in the eyes and say, thanks, this meant something and you did a good job and your job is valuable. You hear a lot in the hospital, I'm just an ultrasound tech, I'm just a lab tech, I'm just a nurse, I'm just a whatever. I just kind of, I cringe when I hear that and I, people know I often stop people <laughs> and I say, don't say that. And, um, and this was just an example of that. It started with Jessica in the, in the lab and doing her job and doing it really, really well. This might be the highlight of my career. Thank you.